Let's go. The NBA playoffs are starting this Saturday, and we're at the, we're the late game. So let's go. So we're playing the Dallas Mavericks in the first round. And this should be a pretty good series, in my opinion. I think we'll win the series in... I, we, we should sweep these guys, first of all. We should sweep this team. But thanks to our terrible coach, we'll probably take this game to five or six. Now, I looked over how we played against these guys in our four meetings during the regular season. The first one, we won by three, and that was a no Kevin Durant and Russ save the day with uh, 31 points. And he probably had a triple-double on in him. The second one, I really don't count because Dallas rested all their starters and we won by, like, 20. So that really doesn't count. And the one with KD injured, I'm not so concerned that it was so close because that's our best player. So I'm not really concerned about that one. But the last two kind of do concern me. We did win them, ultimately. But the fourth quarter came, the damn fourth quarter issue came up again. So in, the, in one of them, we had a 21-point lead. Dallas went on a 15 to nothing run. And thanks to Katie's heroics, we came out and won that game. I mean, and I think it was one of those quarters where we, our fourth quarter, we scored like 16 points, something pathetic like that. This is, this is Billy Donovan, dude. This guy cannot, this guy's the worst fourth quarter. Co like, if you look at his fourth quarter execution, execution in the history of the NBA, He's definitely by far the worst. It's not even close. Not that Scott Brooks is bad. This guy's even worse. That's the only thing I fear is Rick Carlisle it will, will be, is like 20 times better than Billy Donald will ever be. So luckily we killed out because we got two superstars. But I give a lot of credit to those superstars and not so much our coach. And the second one was, a, I think, like a three-point game. Another one we had with them. And again, KD and Russ came to heroics. And then... I think Deion Waiters actually stepped up, or Ben stepped up. So Deion Waiters stepping up doesn't happen that much because he usually is just trash. But I guess he stepped up that one time. But okay. Well, he stepped up a few times this season. He's inconsistent, you know what I mean? Now we got to get to how we're going to win this series. Well, if our coach knew how to utilize our bench really good, we would win this series in five, in four or five games. Because we're due for at least one... One collapse, because that's a given, because we've done that like 20 times this season. But I re if we really want to like just say, enforce our will in this series and just show them we're not messing around, that we could beat Golden State or uh, San Antonio, then we should show these boys that we need to blow them out, okay? And I mean embarrass them. So we definitely need to use Anthony Morrow more. I, I know it just doesn't make any sense how we decide to use... Kyle Singler, who's who's been trash. I mean, okay, he had a good game against Golden State. With a game we should have won when Katie was didn't foul Andre. Don't get me started on the Golden State getting into the refs and how Golden State needs the refs to win. Don't get me started on that. But Kyle Singler, I don't, you know, my dream is that one of these days he's going to be left in Dallas or something. Or if we play San Antonio, if we play Golden State, he's going to be left at the arena. You know what? Just drop him off like in the ghetto or something. Like, get him off this team, man. He ruins everything. And I, I don't know why Coach plays him so much, but that's his decision. Our rotations need to get better. You know what ticked me off? I was watching the Sacramento game a week, a week ago or so ago. Morrow hits a three. And he comes in with like three minutes ago. What has Singer done? Like, he comes and does some stuff. Or 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 he just or Billy just waits, lets him like, it's like, Jesus, you think he's like a high school coach or a college coach when it comes to this kind of stuff? Like he barely plays Morrow. Like, do you know how good of a shooter he is from three point range? He's a top ten in percentage. He's been known for that. that's the reason why we got him. Brooks is better at using him than that. It's ridiculous. And we need to use. Cantor way more. We need to solve this Adams. Cantor can actually shoot and he can make free throws. So I don't know why we're using Adams as much, but Cantor needs to play way more. Deion Waiters, if you're not making it, please don't shoot. You remind me way too much of Isaiah Cousins at Oklahoma. Just don't even, well, you know he's a point guard. That's besides point. If you're not making it, just don't shoot, okay? Just, just, just don't do anything. And then 
what we need to prevent Dallas from doing. Well, we need to get him off the three-point line. And please, for the love of God, don't let him hit open shots. In particular, don't let Chandler Parsons or Wes Matthews. Wes Matthews killed us when he was a Portland Damian Lillard. And he could do the same thing if we let him shoot up. We got a D up. Donovan, you're known for defense, right, you idiot? You're known for defense. How about you apply some for once? At, at Florida, I heard all this stuff, how you're great on defense and all this nonsense. And we're one of the worst defensive teams in the NBA, which makes absolutely no sense since defense is supposed to be your philosophy. Okay? So, D up. And Dirk is Dirk, but Dirk isn't the Dirk that he, when he single-handedly beat us back in the day. Darren Williams is old, so I'm not concerned about him. J.J. Barrera, he's injured. So realistically, I'm not concerned about their inside game whatsoever. I'm concerned about us letting them have open shots, okay? Like, you really got to play good defense in the playoffs, okay? I don't want this to be a six or seven game series, for the love of God. I want it to be a four or five game series. I'll pick us to win in six because of our coach. Not because of our players, but four or five would be very good for us to do. But you never know. Now, what, what do we got to do besides, besides doing our bench rotation? Well, Katie and Russ, obviously, I would say Russ needs, for the love of God, Russ, don't go for like 40. I want you to go for like... 25, 10, and 10 or something like that. Go for a triple-double. Not too many points. I don't want like 30 shots or anything. I want like 25 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. A triple-double, something like that. We usually always win against a triple-double and he doesn't score multiple points. I need I need KD to demand the ball. I want him to average at least 35 points per game in this series because we got to remember that he is the best player in the NBA. Not that guy from Golden State, and that Russ is a better point guard than uh, Steph Curry. The only thing Curry is better at is shooting the ball. And I don't want to hear about that winning. He has Clay Thompson and then that, you know, the rest of them guys, and Draymond, who I cannot stand, and then, you know, their bench, and Iguodala and all those guys. So I don't want to hear about how he, 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 I know, like, let's not compare Clay Thompson shooting to Russell Westbrook because he's just way better than Russ at shooting. So I'm just saying KD doesn't have a great shooter besides himself on the team. He's a great point guard, but not a great shooter. And Russ is better than Curry because he has more assists. He can do more. And if he was ever at Golden State, they would be. Uh, let's see. If, if Russ had go, if Russ is on Golden State, I would say they would have like they'd be like seventy six and six. Yeah, because all Curry could do is shoot. And as he, like look at his assists. His assists are trash, which gets me to my other point. So I want to give you guys some picks for the other rounds. Let's start with. Uh, the Western Conference Warriors versus Rockets. Now, if you don't know already, I hate the Warriors. They like they have become even worse than when uh, LeBron was in Miami. So you know what? And we got a former teammate who I still think is a traitor from Oklahoma City because uh, I don't actually Presti is an idiot. But don't let me get you started on him. I don't know why we didn't keep James Harden. Maybe because maybe because he maybe because he didn't show up in the 2012 Finals. That was probably the reason. But sometimes I wish we saw James Harden. For scoring rise, because Ibaka really needs to play big in the series. I'll get to him in a second. But at least back to my last point. Ibaka needs to play really big in this series. Don't take any threes. For the love of God, don't take any threes. Go inside, dunk, and block shots. Do your job. Okay? And then Canner, I already talked about Canner, and then Russ has to no oh Russ, for the love of God, no threes. You are you are Russell Westbrook. You're not Steph Curry, you're not Damian Lord. Take mid-range and drive to the bucket like you do best. Now, back to Rockets versus Warriors. I had the Rockets win the series in six damn games. Why I have that? Well, I'm biased. I hate the Warriors. And I think James Harden is going to outplay Steph Curry. And it looks like Dwight Howard finally decided to show up. I mean, are, is, is he scared about an Australian, all, Andrew Bogut, and then that, that, that. The, 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 you know, Draymond Green who acts like a lunatic on the court. I think he'd take care of them if Dwight Howard plays to his potential. So, I also like some of the shooters they got. And they shoot a lot of threes. If they make them, they're good. So, and James Harden will outplay Steph Curry. And he can talk about how he deserved the MVP. And then he can, he, he can uh, make up for when he turned the ball over like 15 times in Game 5 against Golden State last year. Okay? 
So I'm picking the Rockets and Six to shut everybody up. I want to get these bandwagon Warriors fans away. Goodbye, good riddance. Probably, the, like, some of these guys are just Curry fans. So I cannot stand the Golden State Warriors and their bandwagon fans. And the media, it's like, I don't know, they, they turn like they're in a, they're in a, a, a loving rela relationship with the Golden State Warriors, okay? It's like Jesus. You, tw you tweet about more, like, it's kind of like those people who always tweet about their girlfriends or boyfriends. That's how much they tweet about the Golden State Warriors. It's so damn annoying. I love, tr I always, as soon as they lose, I'm slandering them. Uh, just, just get ready for it. On Twitter, it's going to be insane. Okay, other series, quickly. Let's talk about the Clippers versus Blazers. I have the Blazers in, I think it's at the Clippers. So I have the Blazers in six games because Damian Lowers is better than Chris Paul. And I like I love that backcourt of, of uh, Lillard and McCollum. The only thing I'm concerned about is their big guys because they got their big guys aren't that good. Clippers always choke, so I don't have no concern about that. CP3 is not... Is never going to live up to the standard that people want him to live up to. That's just who CP3 is. He's a choker. And Blake Griffin and DeAndre, DeAndre Jordan can't free throws. Let's go to the next series. Spurs versus uh, Grizzlies. I have the Spurs in four. The Grizzlies are trash. They are all injured. I don't give them any respect. Kawhi Leonard, LaMarcus Aldridge. The Spurs definitely will take care of the Grizzlies. I'm, they're, 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 they're just not good. I don't trust their offense whatsoever. And they, the last time the Spurs played the Grizzlies, they swept them. So goodbye. Bring out the brooms for that series. That's gonna be a boring series. And then what else? What's that final matchup? Oh yeah, we're we're done with the West. Now move on to the East. Okay, so Pistons against Cavs. God damn. You know I hate the Cavs. I really do. I, I really want to take the Pistons, but they don't got any great. Play. They got Reggie Jackson. I'll give I'll give them one game. I'll say Cavs in five because I love me some Reggie Jackson. So I'll give them one game in Detroit. So I'll, I'll say Cavs in five because I hope I'm wrong. I hope the Pistons beat them and send LeBron home. Then he'll go run away to like Miami or the Clippers or somebody. He's gone already, but you know what I mean. That's who LeBron is. And then you know Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love will lead them. And then Cleveland will be stuck burning jerseys. Expect Cavs fans to burn jerseys in uh, July. Irving and LeBron jerseys. They'll show why they're most classless fans in the NBA and they don't deserve anything. And that I promise thing that LeBron said will be all that I lied. The, you know how they had at Sports Illustrated, I, I'm coming home. I promise that thing. It's going to be, uh, when I see Sports Illustrated drive, it's going to be like, I lied to Cleveland. And I'm just going to laugh. I'm like, who wants to stay in Cleveland? That's the worst sports town in America. I mean, just think about the other teams. Jeez, don't even get me started. Oh, uh, let's see. Celtics versus Hawks. I like how the Celtics played the Heat in that last game. Even though Hawks had advantage, I've never been so on the Hawks. I like how they have team ball, but they don't have any go-to player. I think Isaiah Thomas can be that guy for Boston. So I had them winning in seven games. In Atlanta. Somehow. Don't No, no six games. They're winning in Boston. There's no way that game is going seven. Let's see. Heat versus Bobcats. I have the Heat in six. I respect Kemba Walker. What he did at UConn, they could very well win that series. But I just love this. The Heat just have too much too much talent. They got D Wade, Justice Winslow, Josh Richardson, who's been shooting over fifty nine. I think he shot like fifty nine percent from three since the break. That's better than Curry. I'm not taking another shot, Curry. Expect me to do that often. And they just have then they have Joe Johnson, ISO Joe. So if they play their potential and their talent, they should win be able to win that series. So I got the Heat winning that series. And then, let's see, did I talk about all of them? Oh, Toronto and uh, Indiana. That's so. It's always so easy to forget about a damn Canadian team because who who cares about Canada? Um, I could totally see can Toronto lose, but there's some about this year, and I may be wrong, but maybe they might actually live up to to their potential this year. They're a two seed. They better not lose this. Drake, ain't team that. Has Drake usually takes an L, but I'll I'll give him this. I, I expect Kyrie Lowry and Demar Derozan to finally win a playoff series in six games, because Indiana probably shouldn't be in the playoffs. But don't count out PG, because I've seen that dude in the playoffs and he could be great. And I would be shocked if they upset them, because again, it's a Canadian team. And you're never so sure about those people up north, right? You just don't know, man. But I'll I'll have them in six. So OKC okay, in six, and let's get this win and move on to San Antonio.